and in my case there are, I think, thousands of such similar trumped-up cases that never get anywhere. The intention of these cases is very clear. It is simply to deprive us from doing our work, to impoverish us, by spending a lot of time here and the expenses coming to court, it is not intended to secure any just uh, cause for anybody because there was no case to start with. When this case was filed here, around the same time when a similar case was filed, uh, which was never prosecuted and eventually it was dismissed. So this one, I believe, is heading in the same direction. Court is a court of truth and justice. It can't be a court of lies, blatant lies for that matter. A state prosecutor who is executing that due court for whatever decision they have made, but we expected uh, a serious uh, indictment against the prosecutor who told the lies because it's even an offense. Pajale, you know, it's an offense in under our law. Pajale, telling court lies, it's an offense called the Pajale. So, uh, the prosecutor has committed the Pajale before the magistrate has committed an offense. And if we had uh, a country which respects the rule of law, that that prosecutor would be prosecuted for that. All Ugandans, even ordinary Ugandans, know that Namu ended. So where is it that, I mean, you can't tell such a blatant lie. G737 ended. So which, which conference are they policing? Even the guests left. Many of them left a long time. We go for the weekend, they left. Many left on Saturday, Sunday. It's, today is Thursday. Which conference are they policing? So it's very, very unfortunate. And we are making a call to the judiciary not to be complicit in the uh, uh, persecution. It's unfortunate. Dr. Reese just talked about persecution as opposed to prosecution. Court, courts of law should be the last to be complicit in this.